Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day so far. In today's video, I'm doing another studio vlog. So it's currently Monday, and I just had two orders over the weekend, both for bunny snoozers, which already have the sleeve of the bed pre-made, and I usually keep a stock of the removable pillows, but my stock is currently at zero. So I need to make those pillows for those two orders so I can actually go ahead and package them and ship them out. So I thought I'd just go along with the whole process and show you guys how I make the pillows and how I package everything up. So that's gonna be the first part of this vlog. Make sure you stay tuned because I will also be expecting my iPad this week, which I can unbox for you guys. So let's go ahead and get straight into this video. So as you just saw in the last clip, I was cutting all of the pieces for the pillows. So I have to go ahead and sew these and stuff these. And I have my headphones right here and I have YouTube up because I like watching YouTube while I sew. I have it up over here. I just finished making all of these sleeves. So this is what it looks like. If you couldn't tell while I was sewing it, I do double stitch the entire sleeve for extra durability. And then this is like a canvas material. So what I'm going to go do right now is I'm going to lint brush the inside of these pillows and then I'm going to flip them inside out and then we have to stuff them and then close them. So I got one pillow done and we've got three more to go. I just finished making all four pillows. Here's kind of what the end seams look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and take these downstairs where I pack the orders usually. And then I'm also gonna have to grab some thank you cards and start writing those out before I actually pack the orders. So right now I am going on Etsy and I am 
going to print out the shipping labels and packing slips. So that's kind of ah, fun. All right, so right now I am printing out the packing slips. I always print these out just in case something happens with the package. If it get damaged or something, there's something inside that says the destination and the return address because you know my shipping labels aren't exactly waterproof. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my printer. And it's on at me. Go ahead and print these out. And here we go. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Ah! I still have these in here from the other day. That's not gonna work. I need to print this on regular paper. <laughs> uh, the glories of having an Etsy store. Let's try that again. So, I just printed them on my uh, shipping label paper. So, that's fun. It's like eating my paper too. Okay, now it's on normal paper. That's fun. I just wasted two sheets. So if you watched my last studio vlog, I used this uh, sticker paper, which it has the line down the middle because it's used for like two different shipping labels. I used these for stickers on my herbs and I still had it in my printer and forgot about it. Thinking it was normal paper, try to print these out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna not really show you guys what these look like because then I don't have to blur out any addresses. But we have someone from Wisconsin who got my koala to the moon and back bunny snoozer and then we have someone from Maryland who got the last butterflies and polka dot bunny snoozer so I have officially three different patterns that have sold out which is I don't know I think that's pretty cool okay now we're going to put shipping label back in and print said shipping labels all right got my shipping labels now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write little thank you cards these are my thank you cards one for each person, and then each person will also get a cute little sticker. This one is Peter Rabbit, and then this one is such a little bunny with sunglasses and like a leather jacket. All right, so I finished writing both cards. So at the top, I always give the care instructions, and then I write a little personalized note thanking the customer for their business so got these done and i do use a purple pen because purple seems to be the theme of my channel my business um i did not bring my business cards up here which i usually stick in the envelopes so basically we're just gonna take everything back downstairs and pack it all up
I just finished packing those two orders. They're right here. They're ready to go. I plan on leaving them out for the mailman tomorrow and he'll come pick them up and then they will be getting to my two customers very shortly. I guess that's really all I have for today and I guess I'll see you guys probably when my iPad comes in the mail. Which, I feel like I need to say this because I've realized that I have an iPad in the background <laughs> of most of my shots. This is my old iPad. I plan on basically doing a trade-in with my old iPad. It's like the iPad second, no, iPad fourth generation? I don't know. I got it like during high school. It's very old and literally can't run most apps that are on the app store anymore, which is why I'm getting a new one. Anyway, I'll see you guys again shortly. So I am back today with my iPad, my Apple Pencil, and some accessories. So today is currently Wednesday, so I believe it's been like two days since I've seen you guys. And this clearly wants to help unbox this stuff. It's not really for you. Why are you licking the box? Moose is strange and likes to lick literally everything. So we're gonna go ahead and open this stuff up. I'm first gonna open up the accessories. It should include like a case, screen protector, and that kind of stuff. It's not for you. No, it's not. So the first thing we've got is my new case for the iPad. It's not for you. In fact, I don't want it full of dog hair. I don't want it full of dog hair. He doesn't. And then I got some screen protectors. These ones are supposed to feel like paper. And then I got like a silicone sleeve for the Apple Pencil. So I'm not really gonna open those further until we actually get the uh, items out of these boxes and then I will put the cases on the items. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Go away! Okay, hopefully Moose kind of goes away. I love him, but I really don't want dog hair over everything. At least not until I get the screen protector on. And I did buy the iPad, an Apple Pencil directly from Apple. So I got the iPad Air, I got the Wi-Fi version, and it's 256 gigabytes, and it's in blue. Let's go ahead and get this open. I know the first time I saw Apple have devices that didn't have a home button, it was literally just a screen. I was so skeptical. But now looking back, I think Apple made a smart decision. So, I may want to touch it. I want to touch it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the screen protector on. Or I do anything. Okay, that was surprisingly pretty good. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. That is like the most perfect installation of a screen protector I've ever had. I'm surprised at how well that worked. There's literally no bubbles. Let's get the case on and then we can power this bad boy on. We got a very simple case. It's basically just plastic and then it has the cover. It's like in this aqua tealish blue color. It does have the uh, magnet close, so I'm just gonna flip open. 
Like that is actually really nice. It's nice and minimalistic. Now it doesn't provide a lot of protection for my iPad, but I'm really good about taking care of my devices as long as I can't get like really easy scratches. That's all I really need to protect my devices from. And I will leave all this stuff linked down in the description as well in case you want to try this case or screen protector or anything you see in this video. So I guess we can go back to the setting and finish unboxing it. That's fine. We've got instructions up and the apple stickers that was fun and then i got a little charging brick and a cord let's go ahead and wrap this because i will definitely be needing this is the blue usb c and I always keep my Apple boxes, so keep this. All right, now let's power you on. I'm gonna set that aside for now. I always think it's kind of boring watching people set up their iPads, so I'm not gonna play with that. Let's get this open. That one had a nice pull tab. Look at how cool that is. Hopefully you guys can see that. But I did get my channel name engraved on the pencil, which I think is so cool. So I'm going to unbox my silicon cover, basically. That. I don't even know what this is. Said, I wish the opening was just like a tiny bit like farther open so you could still read the engraving, but you can still tell it's there, so that's cool. This will provide more grip when I'm writing. This just sticks. Oh, oh it's telling me that. Look how cute that looks. It's like the blue and the purple. I don't know. I really like blues and purples going together. If you couldn't tell kind of by the theme of this channel. So what I'm going to do, this looks very plain. To me <laughs> this apple pencil flies everywhere so i'm going to add a couple stickers to the back which i brought some stickers from downstairs so i have the stickers that i showed you guys that i have in my shop that i give away as freebies but i'm going to take some of them and decorate the back now i don't like fluttering the back of a device with stickers i just like adding a couple so it looks a little bit more personalized So I went ahead and put the stickers on. I do notice one negative about this case is this little flat thing overlays just enough where it kind of interferes with how the pencil connects, but I think I'll get used to it. But I did pick out my stickers. So I have this one, which is a bunny holding um, a little beaker of some sort of chemicals. Definitely I mean, some sort of chemistry. I love red-eyed whites, red-eye white bunny, and I am a STEM major, so I 
I love that little picture. And then this one, drawing with a pencil. And I'll be doing a lot of drawing on my iPad. And this one kind of just reminds me of Oreo, just how sweet and cute she is. Kind of got the same coloring going on. And I love that it's got little fent French macarons on it. This coloring also reminds me of Oreo a little bit. So these are the stickers I chose for the back of my iPad. I think it just adds a little bit of a personal touch. So that's pretty much it for my actual unboxing. I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up and play around with it for a bit. And I'll probably let you guys know my final thoughts. Maybe I'll show you something I drew on here. But yeah, I guess that's it for right now. And if I do give you guys an update, it'll probably be tomorrow because it's getting late and I wanna go to bed. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, it's actually been a couple weeks since I opened my iPad and I just never finished this studio vlog, but I thought I'd go ahead and hop on the camera and show you guys some of the designs I made with Procreate on my new iPad. I think they turned out really well. See, here's the one. It says, life is better with bunnies. And I have one other design I'll show you guys real quick. It says, sun's out, buns out. And that's really all I want to share about those because I'm doing something really cool that you guys will see in my next studio vlog. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you like this video, make sure you guys leave us a like and I'll see you guys in my next video. And until then, remember, live life to the fullest.